Two of the best things about summer are popsicles and booze, and Emily Sperlin at Bad Hunter in Chicago put those two things together and created this amazing Concord grape gin popsicle. So the pro move here is really about finding the balance between the juice and the gin. One of the things that happens when you freeze anything is that flavor starts to get kind of muted. So what she did is she actually created a simple syrup with toasted juniper berries to amp up the flavor of the gin. So we want a small skillet. We're gonna put the heat on medium. We're gonna toast these, move them around because uh, if you let them just sit, they'll actually burn on the bottom. And then you should start to smell them. Ah, yeah. So they're nice and glossy. If you see little wisps of smoke coming off, that means they're probably done. So I'm using a mortar and pestle to crush these. They don't have to be super fine, they can be coarse. All the oils that come out when you toast them are actually sort of the resins from the, uh, the juniper. All right, that looks good. Now we're gonna make our simple syrup. I've got a quarter cup of water and a third of a cup of granulated sugar. And we're gonna throw our crushed juniper berries in there. So we're gonna put this on medium heat. Just kind of swirl it to make sure that the sugar dissolves. As soon as it comes up and you can't see any more sugar, we're just gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes so all the flavors infuse. You can use this for cocktails, you can use it for iced tea. It's a really super concentrated syrup, so you don't wanna use that much, especially if you're making a cocktail. All right, that's perfect. All right, take it off the heat. We're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes to let all the flavors infuse. So we're gonna strain this. So I've actually chilled the syrup down and the quickest way to do that is just to throw this over a little ice bath. I'm just gonna press down on the juniper berries to get as much of the flavor and syrup out as possible. Now, I'm gonna juice these limes. So you want about two tablespoons of lime juice. We need a quarter cup of gin. We're using a Bombay dry gin. It's really nice. It smells just like juniper, uh, which is what you want. You want uh, something that's really fragrant and floral. So we have two cups of Concord grape juice. If it happens to be September and there are Concord grapes in the area where you live, I would definitely recommend uh, just buying some or buying the juice from your local Concord grape farmer. It's pretty incredible if you have fresh Concord grapes. So just throw everything into the pitcher, give it a little whisk. Mm, so good. So we're gonna fill these up. These are three ounce popsicle molds. You don't wanna fill it quite all the way up. The juice will expand as it freezes. If you fill it all the way up, it'll actually just kind of ooze out and you'll have that weird rounded edge at the bottom of your popsicle. If you're okay with having a slightly flakier and more melty popsicle, you can go up as high as a half a cup of gin in this recipe and you can just drink the rest if you want. It'll be a little chef snack, perfect. All right, so we're gonna pop the lid on these guys. Stick them in the freezer for about an hour just to let them set a little bit. You want the ice crystals to form just enough so that when you stick the stick in, it'll actually stay down. All right, they're finally done. So they're pretty well in there. So depending on what kind of a popsicle mold you have, you can either pull these out or if you're uh, serving them to an army, you can just dunk the whole thing in some warm water. Just kind of loosen them up a little bit and Voila. Uh, you can see the ice crystals, beautiful color. Actually still smells like Concord grape and a little bit of juniper. And uh, I'm gonna dig in, because you know, it's summer. Wow. Unlike regular popsicles, because of the alcohol, they're not like really hard, so you can actually bite into it and not hurt your teeth. Um, pretty damn good. I'm gonna have a little more. 